European Space Agency Czech, Evropska Kosmika Agentura, Danish, Europeiska Rumpfartsorganisation, German, Europeische Weltraumorganisation, Estonian, Europa Cosmos e Agentur, French, Agents Spatial Europeana, Dutch, Europe's Ruim Tevart Organisation, Finnish, Europe in Avaru Ajar Gesto, Greek, Epsilon Upsilon Rho Omega Pi Alpha Iota Kappa Eta Delta Iota Alpha Sigma Tau Eta Mu Iota Kappa Eta Upsilon Pi Eta Rho Epsilon Sigma Iota Alpha, Hungarian, Europe I Rug Inoxag, Irish, Neum Herich Spes Nahi Orpa, Italian, Agencia Spazia Europea, Norwegian, Den Europa Skromfarts Organizas Jonan, Polish, Europeiska Agencia Cosmicina, Portuguese, Agencia Espacial Europea, Romanian, Agencia Spatiale Europeana, Spanish, Agencia Espacial Europea, Swedish, Europeiska Rhymed Organization N. The European Space Agency is an intergovernmental organization dedicated to the exploration of space, with 22 member states. Established in 1975 and headquartered in Paris, France, ESA has a staff of more than 2,000 with an annual budget of about 4.28 billion euros per 5.51 billion dollars. ESA's space flight program includes human space flight, mainly through the participation in the International Space Station program the launch and operations of unmanned exploration missions to other planets and the Moon, Earth observation, science, telecommunication as well as maintaining a major spaceport, the Guiana Space Center at Kourou, French Guiana, and designing launch vehicles. The main European launch vehicle Ariane 5 is operated through Arian Space with ESA sharing in the cost of launching and further developing this. Launch Vehicle. Its facilities are distributed among the following five research centers. ESA Science Missions are based at ESTEC in Nordwijk, Netherlands. Earth Observation Missions at ESRIN in Frascati, Italy. ESA Mission Control is in Darmstadt, Germany. The European Astronaut Center that trains astronauts for future missions is situated in Cologne, Germany and the European Space Astronomy Center is located in Villanueva de la Canada, Madrid, Spain. History Foundation After World War II, many European scientists left Western Europe in order to work with the United States. Although the 1950s boom made it possible for Western European countries to invest in research and specifically in space-related activities, Western European scientists realized solely national projects would not be able to compete with the two main superpowers. In 1958, only months after the Sputnik shock, Eduardo Amaldi and Pierre Auger, two prominent members of the Western European scientific community at that time, met to discuss the foundation of a common Western European space agency. The meeting was attended by scientific representatives from eight countries, including Harry Massey. The Western European nations decided to have two different agencies, one concerned with developing a launch system, ELDO, and the precursor of the European Space Agency, ESRO. The latter was established on 20 March 1964 by an agreement signed on 14 June 1962. From 1968 to 1972, ESRO launched seven research satellites. ESA in its current form was founded with the ESA Convention in 1975 when ESRO was merged with ELDO. ESA has 10 founding member states. Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. These signed the ESA Convention in 1975 and deposited the instruments of ratification by 1980, when the Convention came into force. 
During this interval the agency functioned in a de facto fashion. Later activities The ESA joined NASA in the IUE, the world's first high-orbit telescope, which was launched in 1978 and operated very successfully for 18 years. A number of successful Earth orbit projects followed, and in 1986 ESA began JOTO, its first deep space mission, to study the comets Halley and Griggs Keller up. Hippocos, a star mapping mission, was launched in 1989 and in the 1990s SOHO, Ulysses and the Hubble Space Telescope were all jointly carried out with NASA. Recent scientific missions in cooperation with NASA include the cassini Weijian Space Probe, to which ESA contributed by building the Titan landing module Weijians. As the successor of ELDO, ESA has also constructed rockets for scientific and commercial payloads. Ariane 1, launched in 1979, brought mostly commercial payloads into orbit from 1984 onward. The next two developments of the Ariane rocket were intermediate stages in the development of a more advanced launch system, the Ariane 4, which operated between 1988 and 2003 and established ESA as the world leader in commercial space launches in the 1990s. Although the succeeding Ariane 5 experienced a failure on its first flight, it has since firmly established itself within the heavily competitive commercial space launch market with 56 successful launches as of September 2011. The successor launch vehicle of Ariane 5, the Ariane 6 is already in the definition stage and is envisioned to enter service in the 2020s. The beginning of the new millennium saw ESA become, along with agencies like NASA, JAXA, ISRO, CSA and Roscosmos, one of the major participants in scientific space research. Although ESA had relied on cooperation with NASA in previous decades, especially the 1990s, Changed circumstances led to decisions to rely more on itself and on cooperation with Russia. A 2011 press issue thus stated, Russia is ESA's first partner in its efforts to ensure long-term access to space. There is a framework agreement between ESA and the government of the Russian Federation on cooperation and partnership in the exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes and cooperation is already underway in two different areas of launcher activity that will bring benefits to both partners. Most notable for its new self-confidence are ESA's own recent successful mission Smart One, a probe testing cutting-edge new space propulsion technology. The Mars Express and Venus Express missions as well as the development of the Ariane 5 rocket and its role in the ISS partnership. ESA maintains its scientific and research projects mainly for astronomy space missions such as KORO, launched on 27 December 2006, a milestone in the search for extrasolar planets mission. The treaty establishing the European Space Agency reads, ESA's purpose shall be to provide for, and to promote, for exclusively peaceful purposes, cooperation among European states in space research and technology and their space applications, with a view to their being used for scientific purposes and for operational space applications systems ESA is responsible for setting a unified space and related industrial policy, recommending space objectives to the member states, and integrating national programs like satellite development into the European program as much as possible. Jean-Jacques Dordain ESA's Director General outlined the European Space Agency mission in a 2003 interview. Today space activities are pursued for the benefit of citizens, and citizens are asking for a better quality of life on Earth. They want greater security and economic wealth, but they also want to pursue their dreams to increase their knowledge, and they want younger people to be attracted to the pursuit of science and technology. I think that space can do all of this.
It can produce a higher quality of life, better security, more economic wealth, and also fulfill our citizens' dreams and thirst for knowledge, and attracts the young generation. This is the reason space exploration is an integral part of overall space activities. It has always been so, and it will be even more important in the future. Member States, Funding and Budget, Membership and Contribution to ESA ESA is an intergovernmental organization of 22 member states. Member states participate to varying degrees in the mandatory and optional space programs. The 2008 budget amounted to €3 billion, Euros, the 2009 budget to €3.6 billion. Euros. The total budget amounted to about 3.7 billion euros in 2010, 3.99 billion euros in 2011, 4.02 billion euros in 2012, 4.28 billion euros in 2013 and 4.10 billion euros in 2014. Languages generally used are English and French. Additionally, official documents are also provided in German and documents regarding the Space Lab are also provided in Italian. If found appropriate, the agency may conduct its correspondence in any language of a member state. The following table lists all the member states and adjunct members, their ESA convention ratification dates, and their contributions in 2015. Carrot ABC These nations are considered initial signatories, but since they were members of neither ESRO nor ELDO the convention could only enter into force when the last of the other ten founders ratified it. Carrot ABC DEFGHIJ founding members and initial signatories drafted the ESA charter which entered into force on 30 October 1980. These nations were also members of either ELDO or ESRO. Carrot ABCD FGHI exceeded members became ESA member states upon signing an accession agreement. Carrot Canada is an associated member of ESA. Carrot Framework Agreement establishing the legal basis for cooperation between ESA and the European Union came into force in May 2004. Associate members currently the only associated member of ESA is Canada. Previously associated members were Austria, Norway and Finland, all of which later joined ESA as full members. Canada Since 1 January 1979, Canada has had the special status of a cooperating state within the ESA. By virtue of this accord, the Canadian Space Agency takes part in the ESA's deliberative bodies and decision-making and also in the ESA's programs and activities. Canadian firms can bid for and receive contracts to work on programs. The accord has a provision ensuring a fair industrial return to Canada. The most recent cooperation agreement was signed on 15 December 2010 with a term extending to 2020. For 2014, Canada's annual assessed contribution to the ESA general budget was €6,059,449.00. Budget Appropriation and Allocation The ESA is funded from annual contributions by national governments as well as from an annual contribution by the European Union. The 2005 budget of ESA was €2.977 billion Euros in 2005, rising to €2.904 billion Euros in 2006, €3.018 billion Euros in 2008, €3.600 billion Euros in 2009. 3.745 billion euros in 2010, 3.994 billion euros in 2011 and 4.020 billion euros in 2012. Every three to four years, ESA member states agree on a budget plan for several years at an ESA member states conference. This plan can be amended in future years, however provides the major guideline for ESA for several years. The last major conference was held at the end of 2008, setting the budget for the years to 2012. The 2011 budget allocations for major areas of ESA activity are shown on the pie chart on the right.
The section called Other includes technology development, space situational awareness and spending related to European cooperating states. Countries typically have their own space programs that differ in how they operate organizationally and financially with ESA. Several space-related projects are joint projects between national space agencies and ESA. Also, ESA is not the only European governmental space organization. Enlargement after the decision of the ESA Council of 21-22 March 2001. The procedure for accession of the European states was detailed as described the document titled The Plan for European Cooperating States. Nations that want to become a full member of ESA do so in three stages. First, a cooperation agreement is signed between the country and ESA. In this stage, the country has very limited financial responsibilities. If a country wants to cooperate more fully with ESA, it signs a European Cooperating State Agreement. The ECS agreement makes companies based in the country eligible for participation in ESA procurements. The country can also participate in all ESA PRA programs, except for the basic technology research program. While the financial contribution of the country concerned increases, it is still much lower than that of a full member state. The agreement is normally followed by a plan for European cooperating state. This is a five-year program of basic research and development activities aimed at improving the nation's space industry capacity. At the end of the five-year period, the country can either begin negotiations to become a full member state or an associated state or sign a new PEX charter. Many countries, most of which joined the EU in both 2004 and 2007, have started to cooperate with the SA on various levels. During the ministerial meeting in December 2014, ESA ministers approved a resolution calling for discussions to begin with Israel, Australia and South Africa on future association agreements. The ministers noted that concrete cooperation is at an advanced stage with these nations and that prospects for mutual benefits are existing. A separate space exploration strategy resolution calls for further cooperation with the United States, Russia and China on LEO exploration, including a continuation of ISS cooperation and the development of a robust plan for the coordinated use of space transportation vehicles and systems. For exploration purposes, participation in robotic missions for the exploration of the Moon, the robotic exploration of Mars, leading to a broad Mars sample return mission in which Europe should be involved as a full partner, and human missions beyond LEO in the longer term, EU and the European Space Agency. The political perspective of the European Union was to make ESA an agency of the EU by 2014, although this date was not met. The EU is already the largest single donor to ESA's budget and non-ESA EU states are observers at ESA. The only current EU member state that has not signed an ESA cooperation agreement is Croatia. In December 2014, the ESA Ministerial Council authorized officials to begin discussions to establish formal cooperation with Croatia. Launch Vehicle Fleet ESA has a fleet of different launch vehicles in service with which it competes in all sectors of the launch market. ESA's fleet consists of three major rocket designs, Ariane 5, Soyuz 2 and Vega. Rocket launches are carried out by Ariane Space, which has 23 shareholders representing the industry that manufactures the Ariane 5 as well as a CNES at the ESA's Guiana Space Center. Because many communication satellites have equatorial orbits, launchers from French Guiana are able to take larger payloads into space than from spaceports at higher latitudes. 
In addition, equatorial launches give spacecraft an extra push of nearly 500 meters per second due to the higher rotational velocity of the Earth at the equator compared to near the Earth's poles where rotational velocity approaches zero. Ariane 5 The Ariane 5 rocket is ESA's primary launcher. It has been in service since 1997 and replaced Ariane 4. Two different variants are currently in use. The heaviest and most used version, the Ariane 5 ECA, delivers two communications satellites of up to 10 tons into GTO. It failed during its first test flight in 2002, but has since made 69 consecutive successful flights. The other version, Ariane 5S was used to launch the automated transfer vehicle to the International Space Station and will be used to launch four Galileo navigational satellites at a time. In November 2012, ESA agreed to build an upgraded variant called Ariane 5 Me, which will increase payload capacity to 11.5 tons to GTO and feature a restartable second stage to allow more complex missions. Ariane 5 Me is scheduled to fly in 2018. Some of its new features will also be adopted by the next-generation launcher, Ariane 6, planned to replace Ariane 5 in the 2020s. ESA's Ariane 1, 2, 3 and 4 launches have been retired. Soyuz Soyuz 2 is a Russian medium payload launcher which was brought into ESA service in October 2011. ESA entered into a 340 million euros joint venture with the Russian Federal Space Agency over the use of the Soyuz launcher. Under the agreement, the Russian agency manufactures Soyuz rocket parts for ESA, which are then shipped to French Guiana for assembly. ESA benefits because it gains a medium payload launcher, complementing its fleet while saving on development costs. In addition, the Soyuz rocket, which has been the Russian space launch workhorse for some 40 years, is proven technology with a very good safety record. Russia benefits in that it gets access to the Kourou launch site. Due to its proximity to the equator, launching from Kourou rather than Baikonur nearly doubles Soyuz's payload to GTO. Soyuz first launched from Kourou on 21 October 2011, and successfully placed two Galileo satellites into orbit 23,222 kilometers above Earth. Vega Vega is ESA's carrier for small satellites. Developed by seven ESA members led by Italy, it is capable of carrying a payload with a mass of between 301,500 kg to an altitude of 700 km for low polar orbit. Its maiden launch from Kourou was on 13 February 2012. The rocket has three solid propulsion stages and a liquid propulsion upper stage for accurate orbital insertion and the ability to place multiple payloads into different orbits. Ariane Launch Vehicle Development Funding Historically, the Ariane family rockets have been funded primarily, with money contributed by ESA governments seeking to participate in the program rather than through competitive industry bids. This has meant that governments commit multi-year funding to the development with the expectation of a roughly 90% return on investment in the form of industrial work share. ESA is proposing changes to this scheme by moving to competitive bids for the development of the Ariane 6.